I'm joined by Era McCauley, who is the artistic director of Writers Fest, which mm -hmm. is coming up. It's coming up next week. I can't believe it. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's such a, a highlight of the uh, of September, that mm -hmm. perfect time of year where it's just uh, the weather is still a little crisp and all that. Yes. Um, so this year, though, it's not going to be running from room to room to hear the authors. It's going to be sitting in the comfort of my living room. It's, everything's virtual. Yes, everything is virtual this year. Um, so yeah, there's uh, the advantage of, you know, you can stay in your pajamas and <laughs> grab yourself a cup of tea anytime you, you like, or you can sit out in the backyard and enjoy the beautiful weather while you're attending events too. So. And um, it, was it easier to get authors and, and people who run the workshops and because you've got over 50 authors mm -hmm. who, who are going to be doing presentations. Was it easier because they could stay home and do it from, they didn't have to travel to Kingston for the weekend? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely took an element of planning out of it because, um, you know, we have a, a finite budget and travel can be a significant portion of that. So to be able to just choose any author from anywhere in Canada was a real luxury this year for us. And there were also authors too that um, weren't willing to travel. And so um, to be able to offer them an opportunity to do a virtual event, they were very keen to, to participate in that way. So yeah, it, it's definitely one of, one of the little perks of, of uh, the online format. And people who also can't travel to Kingston mm -hmm. can sit back and take advantage of this and enjoy it for uh, well, the long, it's a weekend, it's three, four days now. Yeah, it's, it's five days, so five it days. runs uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And yeah, that was um, uh, feedback that we got last year when we did it virtual as well, that, um, you know, people that uh, had mobility issues or accessibility issues or, you know, just didn't always have the time to make that the trip into town. All, were able to take in the festival, and it was such wonderful feedback for us to get to sort of be open to that audience. Yeah, and and how do you get excited about the the festival instead of uh, you know how is this going to go? So yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of getting excited, which author are you the most excited about meeting? Um, I would say, oh, that's a good question. There, there are a few this year that um, I'm quite excited about. I think um, uh, Guy Vanderhaeg is one that's that's exciting to me. Um, I've read a number of his books. He's won so many awards, and he hasn't written in almost ten years now um, a, a fiction book. So um, that is, is a pretty exciting uh, book for us this year. Um, Eden Robinson is another one that. Um, She's, she's here now with uh, the third book in her trilogy, so to, to get her for that was, was pretty exciting, and she'll be sort of helping to close off the festival this year. Mm -hmm. Is that what the high fives in the office yes. were over when you, we got them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think there were a few this year. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's always interesting because you don't know who's going to write a book. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every given year and so it's this this clean slate but there's always a couple names that as they pop up it's like oh, Camilla Gibbs got a book you know and and so it's like okay we've got to try and get her and Omar el -Akkad. Um, so there were, it, it's interesting sometimes with authors where they seem to go through cycles like we have a lot of authors that we had five years ago that now they're back with their new book and so it's, it's really a pleasure to welcome them back again with new art um, and to sort of uh, share them with the community again. Now my favorite is historical fiction. Mm -hmm. Who do you recommend? Um, well, uh, if uh, I guess it depends how historical you're going. So um, Guy's uh, book, August into Winter, takes place in 1939 in the prairies. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a really interesting one, lots of colorful characters, and it's sort of looking at that uh, shadow of World War II from a very uniquely Canadian perspective, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think that's probably, again, one of my, my big picks. Okay, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yes, I'll look that one up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, this isn't just for readers, mm -hmm. it's also for writers. And you have a really good slate of people who are running workshops. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, we have, a, we call it the Writer's Studio Masterclass. And, um, this year we have 12 different authors uh, that are presenting um, two and a half hour uh, seminars, so they're, they're virtual. Um, 
but they're limited capacity and the authors and the students have an opportunity to speak and it's just focusing on different elements of the writer's craft. So um, whether you write fiction or nonfiction or poetry, um, there's, there's uh, sessions on storytelling, there's sessions on how to effectively create a draft, um, how to perform a poem, um, and even things like uh, how, to, how to form a, an effective writer's group. So if you have, um, if you're searching for more regular feedback and support, how do you, how do you find that? Yeah. And the part also, because you always hear the term struggling writer, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, some, there's a lot of writers that don't, don't make the, the big money that we, we imagine, but mm -hmm. it's only $30 to attend one of these sessions. That's very reasonable. Yeah, I, I think um, that's something that we've really tried to, to keep in mind. Um, you know, so all of our, our on-stage events this year are free of charge, and then, yeah, we've tried to keep the, the uh, cost of the writer's classes low and the attendance to a small intimate group so that people really get something out of it. Yeah. I think the one that, that uh, appealed to me was the one about looking after yourself as an author. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, first they work by themselves for the most part. Even if they collaborate with someone else, they, they still spend a lot of time by themselves. And I think we've all learned over the last 18 months how difficult that is. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they work for years sometimes on putting a book together and then only to have it panned by critics and the public and all the rest. Right, yeah. Uh, burnout, um, oh gosh, writer's block, all of those things. And there's a session on that and mm -hmm. I just thought, wow, that is really important. That, and So I, I think I would recommend that for people who want to be a writer because it isn't just all glory. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I think, um, I mean, any sort of famous position we imagine as, as this, we have this fantasy view of it, but there is a lot of um, vulnerability, a lot of putting yourself out there um, that comes with, with, with art. And so, yeah, that was a session that we really wanted to include and it's on the final day of the festival. So it kind of felt like a good place, you know, if you've done a number of those sessions to take away some ways of making sure that you're taking care of yourself and not just, you know, because building your art is wonderful, but you have to be in the right mindset too. Yeah. Exactly. And, and grow a thick hide yes. because you're going to need it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that's one of the things, I mean, one of the hardest things for our festival every year is, is choosing the program because there's so many incredible authors and so many credible books mm -hmm. that we don't get to program every year because there's a finite number of spots available. And you wish you could just talk to each individual mm -hmm. author and say, it's not you, it's not your work, you know. It's um, just the space and yeah. time. And, and you wish them well because it is such an amount of dedication, right. absolutely. Yeah. So in the uh, few minutes we have left, Mm -hmm. Give me the details. So mm -hmm. if somebody wants to attend one of the presentations, either uh, as a writer or a reader, mm -hmm. how do they go about doing that? Um, so if they visit our website, which is kingstonwritersfest.ca, um, all of the events are there. So as I've mentioned before, um, all of our onstage events are free, and then the writer studios are $30, and there is a registration button for each event. So if you sign up there, you'll receive the Zoom link, and then you can just tune in. Um, so yeah, there's uh, 40 odd events happening um, over the course of five days. So it's from the 22nd to the 26th this year. Um, sort of morning, afternoon and evening events. So lots of different time slots available depending on um, the free time that people have and you can attend one event or many and uh, we'd love to see you there. Yeah. Thank you for being with us today. All right, thank you very much for having me.